Welcome to the Digital Business Evolution Podcast, a place that you can now call home. I know you're creating long lasting impact in this world, and you absolutely deserve the time, location, career, and financial freedom that you desire. I'm here to guide you with proven strategies, tools, and mindset hacks that I've taught to thousands of business owners. You'll also be hearing from exceptional guests sharing stories of their own personal and business evolution. My name is Jessica DeRose, and I'm here to teach you what I'm learning. We are all inherently worthy, regardless of the number of degrees, awards, and accolades that we've collected along the way. Grab a notebook, a coffee, and enjoy the show. Hey, I'm jumping on real quick to let you know about a really cool opportunity to work with me completely for free. So every Tuesday, I'm offering coaching over texting, and that means the first 10 people to text me on my number and ask me a question, I'm going to coach them back completely for free. Voice memos, long form text, it 100% is me. This is the stuff that lights me up most in my business. So your questions can be anything from business to strategy, working with your spouse, RV life. Really, there are no questions off the table. You just need to make sure that you get it in quickly on Tuesdays because I am only coaching the first 10 people. So my number is 973-358-7888. Three six. This is for US numbers only. Make sure on Tuesdays you text me your questions. I'll get you your answers and you'll be added to my text community where you're going to be getting different texts from me throughout the week. Strategies, motivation, all the things. So 973-358-7836. Can't wait to hear from you. Hello, hello. Welcome back to the Digital Business Evolution Podcast. We are here today for another episode of Mic Drop. Mic Drop. Mm-hmm. You know what that means. Mike is back. And I am here. Gosh, if you could see us right now, this Montana little Montana is at my feet. He is laying on my leg. It is just so good. Anyway. It's so good. So we are just approaching the halfway point to 2022. We might even be there when this episode comes out. And so we figured, wouldn't it be fun if we did an episode about goals? Because if you're anything like us, you probably set a bunch of goals at the beginning of the year. Maybe you make vision boards or maybe... You've been in our community for long enough that you make action boards. Dun, yeah. Dun, dun. And guys, you and can't gals. grow what you don't measure. That's right. So it's imp- the goal thing is important. If you aren't doing it, even if it's little things, just let's just set some goals, right? Yeah. Set one. If you if you don't have goals, set one right when you're listening to this, and then reassess one month in. But anyway, let's get to it because we have some pretty simple steps that we we do this. Every halfway point of the year. We do, but also every quarter in the business. Mm. And on a personal level, I try to benchmark myself about once a month. I don't always do the best there, but I do like to check back in because like what you said, you can't measure what you can't, I mean, you can't grow what you can't measure. So for me, I split my goals up into four different areas. I've got like my personal or my relationship goals. Then I have my health goals. Then I have business and then I have finances. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And just- you know, I like to add things as we go here, but you mentioned reassessing each month. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important to mention too, that every day we, in some capacity, I know we try to be more consistent with the, the specifics of it, but in some capacity, we always ask ourselves some questions. Yep. Uh, sometimes it's nine, sometimes it's three, sometimes it's just one. And I'll give you an idea and a little example of it is sometimes we'll just say, Hey, the most basic is obviously what are you grateful for? Right. But we try to practice that daily. But one of the things when it comes to goals that we do is we, we, we say like, Hey, what, what are you most proud of today? Yeah. What's something that you feel like you could have done better today? What's something that you're going to improve on, you know, tomorrow, just, just little things like that create habits. Um, I'm sorry to derail your list. Babe, but I just thought that that was important because you always motivate both of us to try to do that, whether it's at dinner or when we're doing our evening walk with the with the pooch, <laughs> the dog. Um, Thanks for saying it. Motivate. Yeah, 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 so yeah. Motivate. Absolutely. We even borrow from Sarah Blakely's dad sometimes, and we we do the "What did you fail at today? What did you mess up today?" I really like that one. Lessons. Yep. Right. Okay. Yep. Cool. So let's jump in. Cool. So it's a perfect time to reassess those goals from the beginning of the year. And as always, do this without judgment. Do it without judgment. This is not an opportunity. This is not an exercise for you to beat yourself up and talk garbage to yourself about how you're useless and worthless and you've done nothing and you've amounted to nothing. This is an opportunity for you to course correct and also celebrate 
and create. So I think the first one is the most obvious. There are so many things when we reach that halfway point or even at the end of a quarter, there are so many things that we actually do do and things that we can cross off the list. So celebrate yourself no matter how big or small the win is, how big or small the goal is, and it does not have to just be financial, but celebrate. Do you have some good uh, examples of celebrating? Yeah, absolutely. And I I think it goes back to that initial list that you spoke about. So I'll just take one at a time if that's okay. So personal, you know, relationships, just take a quick inventory of people that you have stayed in touch with, have made an effort, and you're proud of yourself for that. Because we all know that there's people that we 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 have stayed in touch with and and we're like, man, I'm so grateful that they're in my life. But then also take inventory of the people that maybe they've kind of slipped out of your life and are you making an effort? Okay, maybe they're not making the effort you want them to, but if you want them in your life, you have to make the effort. So right away, that's something I know that everyone that's listening to this can can walk away and say, okay, there's some people that, that I, I wish I had a closer relationship with. Family, friends, could be your spouse, right? Um, so take inventory of that. And then when it comes to health, man, celebrate yourself, right? There's some things that you probably, maybe you started the year off strong. Maybe you've, you, you've only gone to the gym once or twice a week, but you're, you're doing something, right? And if, and if you're not doing as much as you would have liked to have done when you started the year, right? Because everyone starts the year strong. Okay, this is why we're doing this podcast. It's a great time to reassess, not beat yourself up, celebrate the things that you have done, because trust me, there are some things that I'm sure you're forgetting about Maybe it was you made a healthy, healthy decision last week, or maybe again, you, you went to the gym a few more times than you, than you, then zero, right? And then when it comes to business. Well, wait, just one thing on that real quick. If you aren't happy with where you're at, I don't think the best thing is just do more, right? Like, okay, well, I just know I need to go more because you've probably been saying that to yourself for weeks or even months on end. So this is a time for you to reflect and say, what is something that I could do for myself to make it a little bit easier? What type of assistance do I need? Maybe I need to hire a coach or a trainer, or join a program. So look outside, look outside the box, think outside the box of what could you do that you haven't been doing. So just telling yourself like, I didn't do it, I need to do it, isn't going to work, right? So it's like, yeah. allow yourself the tools and the resources to get yourself to the place where you are what you perceive to be having success. Yeah. And I think it's most importantly is what you said when you said celebrate the ones you hit, Mm -hmm. right? So celebrate the goals that you hit when it comes to relationships, health, business, and then, you know, your finances. Yeah. And I think this looks different for everybody. I mean, we've done a nice dinner. We've bought ourselves things. We've bought teammates things. We've taken them away on retreats and, and partied. Um, And sometimes it's just a night in on the couch together or alone and just watching Netflix or whatever. So it doesn't always have to be some expensive, lavish thing. You don't have to buy things to celebrate. It could just be spending time alone or with loved ones or maybe buying something for the dog. Yeah, it could be. I'm I'm reading this book right now called, um, I think, The Gap and the Gain. Mm -hmm. And we always focus on the gap. We focus on like, oh, I'm here and I want to get there as opposed to my goodness, look at all the things that I have accomplished. Yep. So oftentimes it's hard to look back on a whole year. Sometimes it's hard to look back on even six months, but it is important. And this is why, you know, we do make make sure that we do this every six months because we want to make sure that we're measuring those gains and we try because that way it'll keep you in the gain as opposed to being in the gap. Yeah. And our mentor even ta- told us, taught us how he and his team, they're only looking for a 1% growth, a 1% gain week of, week after week. 1%, that's not a lot. And the reason is because at the end of the year, if you had 1% growth every single week, that's 52% growth by the end of the year. Good math, babe. Nice, wise guy. All right, so the second thing is after you celebrate the things that you did do, why don't you toss out the ones you no longer want? How many times... Have you taken a look at like an old vision board or gone back in a journal and you see stuff that you wrote down or that you put on there and you were like, what? I can't even believe I wanted that. That's what I was, that's what I was striving for. I know for me at the end of every single year, there's always a couple things, like three or four things that I can't even believe the version of me 12 months ago 
was so adamant about getting or doing or creating a particular thing. So it's a really good time to reassess and just, again, without judgment, just be honest with yourself. You know what? That's not really the path that I want to go down anymore. I'm not interested in that goal, not because I haven't hit it, but that's just not aligned with the vision anymore. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's all about the vision. If it's not aligned with the vision, it's okay to toss it out. But little, little warning, don't toss it out. Because, because it's, it's hard. Because it's hard. Yeah. Or because you're being lazy. Toss it out if you've discovered that it doesn't align with your overall vision. Yeah. Or if it like changed a little bit. I'm just thinking about like a car. And if you like put a particular car on your board, on your vision board, your action board, and then you ended up getting like a different car or gifted a car or something and like you have it, but it's not the one you initially thought, just, just toss it out. It's not, ser- <laughs> it's not serving you anymore. Cause like the car, yeah, the, the want to have the, the car. want to have it Oh, got because it. like something else happened to like, replace just throw it. The car away. No, don't, don't throw the car away. Yeah. But by Do sort of cycle the car, by tossing it out, I think parts of it yeah. by tossing it out, you're, uh, you're leaving room energetically for the next thing or the new thing that you might want to be adding in, which brings us to the third thing. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we're celebrating the goals that we've hit. We're tossing out the ones that you no longer want to hit. And we're we're not tossing them out because of laziness. Okay. All right. So it brings us to our last one, which is obviously you have to set new ones for the pivots that you're making. And again, when you think about the pivots, it's not pivoting away because something might be challenging. Make sure you're pivoting away from a place of alignment and a place that just it's not serving you. It's not serving your 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 long term vision. Why are you laughing at me? Because you're fidgeting. All you're touching. <laughs> She's laughing. T- touching the microphone. <laughs> I was the remix. Your your your. Uh, but it's important to set those new goals so that that way you can reassess whether it's a month, two months, six months. You know, so at this point, it would be the end of the year. Yeah. And you can reassess those goals, that you, those new goals that you made. And are those aligning with your long-term vision? Right. And your new and your new vision. Yeah. And like we talk about all the time on DBE, it's literally why we named it DBE, is a pivot is not a bad thing. Pivot shouldn't be taboo. A, a pivot is just evolution. So as you evolve and grow, as your business evolves and grows, it's going to change. The vision is going to change. The offers that you have are going to change. The ideal client is going to change, right? So leaning into that is, is a good thing. And I think the last piece of all of this I'm seeing it for really setting the new goals, but also just an all encompassing is let this be a time to re-energize you like setting the new goals and looking at the new six months ahead. This is a time to get re-energized and re-excited just like you were on December 31st of last year. It's a really good time to get excited about your work again or whatever those goals might be. Yeah. And there's a reason, a very good reason why number one was celebrate the ones you hit because you can really be proud of yourself. And when you're and, and when you're proud of yourself, you realize like, hey, wow, I actually did accomplish more than I thought I did. Yeah. You know? Because we we we're very we're very quick to judge ourselves and and forget all the things the dog is snoring <laughs> and forget all the things that that we may have may have accomplished. Just a quick tip, because I saw this, which I loved. Every time you accomplish something, big or small right? Or anytime you're proud of yourself, both write it on a little piece of paper, throw it in a jar, maybe read it once a month, maybe read it every six months, maybe just read them all at the end of the year. But we do our brag books. We do our brag books. Yeah. I I mean, I just, I I loved that little, that little tactic because I mean, I would love to try that personally because I mean, can you imagine you're pulling out, if you don't journal. Maybe it's a new goal for us. Yes. There we go. We pivoted. Let's do it. If, if you don't journal, this is a great way to keep track of those those little victories that you have throughout the day. And it literally could be, man, I just walked every morning this past week. I'm proud of myself. Boom. Throw it in there, right? So I love that. And putting it in a jar too is so visual mm-hmm. as opposed to me. Like I've had a brag book now for many, many years where I'll write all the accomplishes accomplishments and then at the end of the year read them through and see all the things that I did do or accomplished. But putting them into a jar. It's just so visual because it's there on the table. So mark our word. We're going to do that now. That's one of our new goals for the remainder of 2022. We'll track some of our 
our wins, even the little ones. Awesome. So we can celebrate them together. Amazing. So what I would love you to do is, of course, if you love this episode, you let us know. But more importantly, I want you to text me one of the goals that you are celebrating, no matter how big or small it is. So we're six months into the year. There is something that you have done this year that you are absolutely proud of, and I would love to celebrate it with you. So text me at 973-358-7836 and let me know something that you accomplished this year. Or if you're feeling really jazzy, tell me what one of your new goals is so I can help hold you accountable. 973-358-7836. Yes, it is really me. We can chit chat and I'm especially a fan of voice memos. So you might just be hearing from me because that's how I prefer to message you back. Anything else, babe? That's it. Cool. Thanks so much for being here. Uh, Happy second half of 2022. We'll see you on the next episode. And as always, cheers to your evolution. See you later, guys. Hey, I'm jumping in to tell you about our newest free tool, a tool that will change the way you approach your business. After working in digital marketing and the coaching space for nearly 10 years, working with thousands, scaling to multiple seven figures, and helping our clients generate over $11 million in revenue, I've recognized a pattern from all of the most successful coaches and entrepreneurs. They all have an awareness that struggling business owners don't have. You see, they know their unique coaching superpower. After taking this quiz, you'll uncover which of the four superpowers runs through your DNA. This awareness will help you discover your personal strengths and blind spots so that you can succeed faster, make a bigger impact, and exponentially grow your income. To take this free quiz, just head on over to jessglazer.com slash quiz, and you'll be on your way to harnessing your superpower in minutes. Don't forget to share it and let me know which superpower you have. Tag me at I am Jessica DeRose. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you loved this episode, I invite you to be a part of our ripple effect and share it with a friend. And please, if you feel called, take 30 seconds to leave a five-star review and I'll be forever grateful. Until next time, cheers to your evolution. Evolution.